Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to take a sketch and turn it into a quick massing model in Revit in just a few minutes. We are going to start by making a new model. We are going to draw a simple rectangular floor plan in that model so that we have something to start with. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at your elevation here. And so this is the mass of the building here. Now we need to make a storefront system in part of this wall, in part of this solid mass. So let's do that by double clicking on the wall and simply editing the um, editing the profile of the wall so that we can place a storefront oops, so that we can place a storefront in that hole. So I've made a closed shape now so that it will return to being a wall happily. And now I will go back to my floor plan and simply fill that hole with another wall. You will get an error when you do this because one wall now overlaps the other. Uh, but you can fix that by just going to your elevation and pulling that wall down so that it fills the opening that you intend to put storefront in. Now, you have the wall, you can turn it into, well, let's pull this over a little bit. You can turn that into a storefront. There it is. So now I have a storefront system filling the, um, the wall. I can edit the type on my floor, floor, my storefront system. Let's take this down to seven feet. Um, and maybe we'll do a three foot spacing on my, um, on my verticals. So now I have a tighter grid of storefront system, one in which a door would fill a single panel of my storefront system. You can also fill a double panel with a double door, and I'll show you that in just a second. So right now, we don't have a door. We can't just go to architecture, drop a door in here, because it won't really work in a storefront system. So instead, what we need to do is edit this whole system uh, to allow us to replace a panel or two panels with uh, storefront doors. So I'm going to select the entire storefront by clicking on the perimeter. I'm going to right click on my storefront system and I'm going to say select panels on host. Now you can see that each panel has its own little pin and lock. You're going to unlock whichever panels you want to edit and replace with doors. Let's do the ones at the edges. Um, and uh, so now I have unlocked panels and I can see go through and I can select these panels. I'm going to select this panel. now. This is where your door will live, but it's not there yet because you need to load a storefront door family. So let's go to insert, load Autodesk family, or you can load family if you have it stored locally. Um, and you can check some of these or all of these, depending on how complex your model will be. Uh, storefront systems. Notice they say curtain wall single, curtain wall double. In order to work with the curtain wall assembly, you need to have a curtain wall door. So those will load in. And now when I go down to my properties, I can see, there it is. I can see the um, under the exterior glazing and storefront. Now here are, these, uh, here are these curtain wall systems that I loaded. So I can load a curtain wall door and you'll notice I have a door there now. If I select the perimeter, right click, select panels on host, I can make this one a um, another curtain wall, uh, another door for the for the in the curtain wall system. Um, hit the space bar to flip the the swing on the door. Um, so now that is the uh, that's the whole workflow. You can go through and. Um, continue to build your model, uh, refine your massing, but it'll look like a building when you're done. Um, and so that's, that's the simplest way to go about um, setting up a, a quick study uh, in Revit. So best of luck.